How far did you go in a game of truth or dare? Story 1. Last month, a group of us gathered at a friend's apartment to hang out, have some drinks, and enjoy some entertainment. There were nine of us in total, five guys and four girls. As we were trying to decide on a game to play, one of the guys suggested poker, but we felt that there were too many of us for that. Eventually, one of the girls proposed playing truth or dare. At first, the game was quite uneventful for about 45 minutes. Then, one of the girls chose, dare. The other girl dared her to go out on the balcony and take off her top. This sparked some interest, with people daring each other to do various things, but nothing explicit. Then it was my turn, and the guy whose apartment we were in dared me to go next door, naked, and invite the girl who lived there to join us for truth or dare. He even asked me to bring her a drink. The girls didn't think I would do it, but I decided to prove them wrong. I got up, took off my clothes, and walked out the front door. The neighbor had partied with us before, so I didn't think it would be a big deal. I brought two glasses of bourbon with me. When she opened the door, she was wearing a camisole and silk tap pants. She looked attractive, and we both laughed as I handed her a glass and invited her to come over and play truth or dare. I assured her that I would make sure she got home safely. She agreed, and as we walked back to the apartment, she held my hand and we had a pleasant conversation. Upon entering the apartment, she jokingly announced that she had found a stray dog outside. The group immediately asked her if she wanted to choose, truth, or dare, and she opted for, dare. They dared her to take care of the, dog, she had found and asked if someone had a belt she could use as a makeshift leash. She also requested a bowl for the dog's water. They placed a bowl with a small amount of bourbon and a straw in it. As for me, I was dared to act as her pet. I happily accepted the role. Around 2.30 in the morning, I accompanied her back to her apartment, and I ended up spending the night there. We engaged in some intimate activities, but I'll leave the details to your imagination. Story 2 Last night, my boyfriend Greg and I went to our friend Todd's house. There was an unspoken plan to have a fun time together with Todd and his boyfriend Neil. We decided to play truth or dare, with the rule that if you didn't do a dare or answer a truth, you had to remove an article of clothing. Despite the snowy and cold weather in the Midwest, we didn't let that stop us. The game started off innocently enough, with questions like, when did you first have a romantic experience, and dares like, do something silly with this banana. As the game progressed, we all started to feel more aroused, and we purposely avoided answering questions or doing dares so we could continue stripping. Eventually, we were all completely naked, and the dares became more intense. At this point, alcohol was involved, so my memory is a bit hazy. First, I was dared to give Neil a kiss and perform a playful act, which I did. Then, Greg was dared to do the same with Todd. Thankfully, we had the sense to stop before things went too far. Afterwards, we decided to move to the hot tub. Todd's backyard had a view of the freeway, making it a bit thrilling. It was late at night, so there wasn't much traffic to see us as we got into the hot water. Underneath the water, Greg had his hand on me, and I think his foot was playfully touching Todd. It was my turn for a dare, so I dared Todd to see how deep he could go with a playful act, and then hold his breath underwater. I believe he lasted close to three minutes, as Greg was timing it on his phone. The last thing I remember is Neil daring me to get tied to one of the trees in Todd's backyard, completely naked, facing the freeway. Using bungee cords from the hot tub cover, Todd and Greg tied my ankles to lower branches and my wrists to upper branches. It was extremely cold. To add some excitement, Neil found a funnel in Todd's garage and made me drink a whole can of beer before they untied me. I'm pretty sure we continued with our fun activities after that, but I was quite intoxicated, so my memory is a bit fuzzy. That's all for now. Take care. Story 3 a group of friends and I decided to play truth or dare. As the game progressed, I dared one of my friends to engage in a romantic act with his sister. There was some initial resistance, but I reminded them that they had agreed to play and should follow the rules. Eventually, they embraced and started kissing. It was noticeable that my friend became aroused during the act, and I playfully teased him about it. After my dare, it was the sister's turn, and she chose me for her dare. I opted for a truth, but she insisted on a dare. She dared me to engage in intimate acts with her brother and two other male friends who were present. I firmly declined, stating that I was not comfortable with that dare. However, they all insisted that since I wanted to play the game, I should follow through. The sister added that I had to perform these acts until the guys reached orgasm and swallow their release. 
Reluctantly, I declined again, feeling uncomfortable with the situation. That night, the atmosphere became tense, and I ended up performing oral acts on three individuals and swallowing their release. Throughout the experience, the sister playfully teased me about my level of arousal, which was visible through a wet spot on my pants. I felt extremely embarrassed, but deep down, I realized that I had developed an unexpected interest in these activities. Subsequently, one of my friends and I started meeting up after school for intimate encounters, including mutual oral pleasure. Story 4 When me and my male and female friends were in Portugal, we stayed on the top floor of an eight-story apartment block. We had a fun night and decided to play truth or dare. When one of the girls picked dare, I came up with a dare I had been thinking about before. I dared her to do something adventurous in the elevator. This was a risky dare because many things could happen. There could be someone getting off at our floor that would see her, there could be someone waiting at the next floor, or even better, someone on the ground floor could hit the button to go up, and then the elevator would just keep going down to the bottom, maybe even stopping at other floors along the way, exposing her to everyone on each floor as well as plenty more on the ground. Unfortunately, she declined to do the dare, so she had to do a different forfeit. She preferred this because only we could see her as we were up so high. We played the game and continued having fun. When it was my turn, one of the girls dared me to do something similar. I agreed and got in the elevator with them. We pressed the button to go down to the next floor, but when we got there, instead of going back up, they pressed the ground floor button. They found it hilarious as we went down and stopped at two floors along the way. I tried to cover myself as people got into the elevator with a mixture of surprise and amusement. When we reached the ground floor, a group of lively women entered the elevator and started taking pictures while laughing and cheering. They ended up coming back up to our apartment and joining us for the rest of the night, playing games and having fun. Story 5 I was in a park, as agreed. I was wearing shoes, socks, a tennis skirt, a sports bra, and a cami. I had a backpack to hold anything that might come off. The dare was to take a walk while on a video call. The other person gave me tasks to do. First, I took off my shoes, which attracted some attention as I walked with socks on. Then, I took off my cami. There were other tasks as well, like lifting the back of my skirt up after someone walked by. Eventually, I was asked to lift my skirt up while facing someone. I was also asked to take off my thong while a group was walking towards me. I sat on a bench with no panties on, just my skirt. I lifted my skirt up and gave myself a light swat on the cheeks. I even ended up on exercise equipment completely naked, with only my skirt and bra on a swing set. At one point, I found myself completely naked on a remote path. However, I refused to lift my skirt up for an extended period of time while facing a group walking towards me. As a result, I was punished. That night, after handing over my clothing, I was blindfolded and tied to a light pole. Then, I heard the person walk away. I have done other interesting walks, some of them nude, but this one was the best because I had no idea what would be asked of me. Story 6 We were sitting around drinking and Ben's wife suggested playing a game of truth or dare. It started off innocently, but things escalated after consuming four bottles of wine. Tammy, Ben's wife, dared Connie to do something daring. Then, Tim was dared to do something as well. This led to Connie being dared to perform an intimate act, which upset Tim's wife. Sue dared me to do something similar, which resulted in my wife reacting angrily. Linda, my wife, dared Ben to engage in a certain activity. At that point, I intervened, realizing things were getting out of hand. However, my wife proceeded to remove her clothing and engage in intimate activities with Ben. I was furious and ready to confront them. Tammy approached me and confessed that she had known about their affair for some time. She then initiated a physical encounter with me, expressing her preference for me over Ben. We left the scene, and Tammy suggested staying at my place. She revealed that she had set up cameras in her house and followed me to my bedroom, where we engaged in intimate activities. Tammy confessed that she had been attracted to me since a previous encounter. We spent the night together and woke up the next morning. As I was making coffee, Linda returned home, smelling of sex and with evidence of it in her hair. I informed her that she was not welcome, and Tammy, wearing one of my dress shirts, confronted Linda. Tammy, being skilled in judo, restrained Linda and escorted her out, instructing her to return to Ben. Tammy and I shared a passionate kiss, and Linda left. We enjoyed our coffee in the living room while Tammy manipulated the TV and her iPhone, 
revealing footage of Ben and Linda engaging in intimate activities and speaking negatively about Tammy and me. Tammy then showed me a live feed of Ben and Linda kissing. This prompted Tammy to suggest consulting a divorce lawyer she knew, and we made an appointment for Monday at 8 a.m. Ben and Linda later visited my house to retrieve her belongings. At the lawyer's office, Tammy used her iPhone to provide evidence of Ben and Linda's infidelity. The lawyer, Mary, informed us that we could file for divorce on the grounds of adultery. Three months later, both Linda and I were single, with our assets divided 40 sixtieths, and Tammy and Ben split 30 seventieths. Tammy moved in with me, and we got married six months later. Three years after that, we had a son and a daughter. We were deeply in love, and Tammy took over her father's business, ensuring our financial stability. We heard that Ben and Linda had also split up due to their infidelity. Life was good for my family. Story 7 Believe it or not, the strangest dare came from a high school friend. We were all playing a game one night, and it was my turn. He smiled and said, Michael, I know you like to show off your muscles, I worked out a lot in high school since I was on the swim team. He dared me to show everyone my muscles. I looked at him with a puzzled expression. He continued, saying I should show all my muscles from head to toe. I glanced at him and then at the rest of the group. He laughed and said, start by taking off all your clothes, including your socks and underwear. I felt uneasy and sat back in my chair, trying to process what he had just said. He taunted me, asking if I was scared. I suggested that I could just take off my shirt and show everyone my bare chest and abs. He shook his head and insisted that everything had to come off. Feeling defeated, I reluctantly kicked off my shoes and began to remove my shirt. As I flexed some of my muscles, I heard a few gasps from the group. I looked at my friend, and he motioned for me to continue. So, I unbuckled my belt, took off my pants, and stood there in my socks and boxer briefs. I asked if that was good enough, but he shook his head and pointed to my boxer briefs. With a sigh, I took hold of the sides and pulled them down to my ankles. As I removed them, I also peeled off my socks. I stood there completely naked and barefoot. The group was astonished that I went through with the dare. I was relieved that my body didn't react too much. One girl in the group commented on my well-defined midsection and laughed. Another girl complimented my cute toes. My friend then said that, in addition to showing off my muscles, I had to walk around the group for inspection. I felt defeated as I began my walk, with the group closely examining my naked body. One girl who had complimented my toes brushed her hands over them, and another girl who had praised my midsection muscle actually touched it. I completed the circle without any major reactions, but I had to remain naked for the rest of the game. Other players were dared to do various things, but thankfully, the explicit activities you mentioned did not occur. Although having my toes sucked on and body licked added some excitement. Story 8 the nice thing about playing truth or dare is that you can set boundaries according to the group you're playing with, so the game doesn't become offensive or go too far. The key is to come up with dares and questions that are challenging for everyone involved. To answer your question directly. I was on a ski trip with three other guys, and we rented a two-bedroom condo from a friend. One bedroom had two single beds, and the master bedroom had a king-sized bed. We flipped a coin to decide who would get the master bedroom, and I won so one of the guys had to sleep on the sofa. This created some tension among us. That night, a big storm hit, and we were stuck inside with nothing to do but drink and indulge in some recreational substances. We decided to spice things up by playing truth or dare. Playing truth or dare while under the influence of drugs and alcohol is not a good idea, as there were no safe words and nothing was off limits. I received a dare to perform a sexual act on the three guys, and if I refused, the next dare would involve being tied up naked and allowing each guy to do whatever they wanted. I chose to comply with the dare by giving each guy a few oral pleasantries. As I started doing this, the group stripped me naked and began taking out their frustrations and jealousy on me for winning at poker and getting the king-sized bed. They made derogatory comments while I performed the act, and one of them attempted to engage in anal penetration while I was in a compromising position. One of the guys ejaculated in my mouth. That was the worst part of the experience. I went to bed afterward, as I usually sleep naked. However, the guy who was sleeping on the couch came into my bed and engaged in oral and anal activities without my consent. When the others found out about this, two of them joined me in bed every night. The third guy didn't want to participate in what was happening but didn't mind observing at times.